See, there are three, four things about fear stroke I want to tell you. The people who, a lot of researches they are doing on the fear stroke, they say, minimum of 6 to 12 fear stroke you get every 24 hours, minor or major. When you undergo the fear stroke, minimum of 6 to 12 times you undergo the fear stroke, in 24 hours, in day and dream, both, in, uh, including the dream also. If you get too many fear strokes in the day, you don't get dream, in dreams. If you don't get in days, you get dreams, in dreams. You balance it. It's like a shaking a rose plant. If you continuously shake the rose plant six times per day, what will happen to the plant? It is just like the shaking the rose plant. It's like you're shaking your brain. <coughs> the third thing, because of this shaking, your immune system, immune system gets weakened. Fourth thing, aging process is quickened, speeded up. So the lifespan gets reduced. So the fear actually kills you. Never think you are afraid of dying. Fear brings death. You always think you are afraid because you are going to die. But it is the other way. Death comes because you are afraid. The fear stroke speeds up the process of aging. So naturally the lifespan is reduced. You look old in young age itself. Four things understand. Remember these four things. Six to twelve times you undergo minor or major fear stroke in every twenty-four hours. And it's just like a shaking the roots of a rose plant. It weakens your immune system. It speeds up the aging process. Because of this, the lifespan is getting reduced. Now you all know, we will have to work on the fear stroke. What is the way? <laughs> Let me give the explanation to face the fear stroke. If you face the fear, you see the fear is the root of the fear stroke. If you face the fear, then you can overcome the fear stroke. Vedanta gives a beautiful solution for the fear stroke. The root of the fear stroke is fears only. Face the fears. Face the fear. Abhi. That is only one Sanskrit word. Abhi means not the man who doesn't have fear. Not fearlessness. Man who has got the courage to face the fear. It's only his Abhi. All of you understand? Abhi. Abhi is the Sanskrit word which gives this meditation. Man who has got the courage to face his fears. The Vedanta explains what is actually fear. Actually, what happens to you when you are under fear or when you are frightened? Hmm? Hmm. Some chemical changes which happens to you which you are not able to bear, which you are not able to tolerate. You just jump, you just want to jump out of your skin. You just don't want to stay there anymore. Stay with the situation or stay with the person or stay with the mood. That is what is? That hormones prepare you for fight and flight. Ah, yes. That is what? It's a fear. I tell you, if you can manage the hormonal change or the chemical change in your being, even if the fear comes, even if the fear stroke comes, you will not be shaken. You will not be shaken. Your whole energy will be totally centered. You will be with yourself to move or to go ahead at the next step. Facing your fear, it's like a, you are not able to 
digest or tolerate the chemical changes which happens to you at that time. If you voluntarily, consciously create the same chemical changes and face it consciously, when that happens to you, automatically, involuntarily, you will be able to face it. That is the ultimate solution. Now, let us create all the fears. This is the meditation technique which you are going to do. All of you understand, please, if you are not understanding, now itself argue, then only you will be able to meditate totally. If you don't understand, you can't. Fear is nothing but the hormonal changes or chemical changes which happens inside you, which you are not able to bear.